Welcome to this unit focused on netiquette and on the issues of effective communication within an online course. First of all, let's define netiquette. Just as we all understand the ways of speaking and interacting with others in face-to-face -face contexts, we have to adapt our communication behaviors to the online environment. Communicating online presents a range of different challenges for many of us, simply because we are unfamiliar with its new demands. As online students, we especially have to be aware of the fact that we are communicating within a professional rather than a personal context. This professional context requires that we avoid some of the carefree language or texting styles we may use with our friends. To communicate effectively with your classmates and instructors, avoid using quick abbreviations and slang. Also avoid writing your message in all caps. In the online world, communications in all caps indicates that you are shouting. Remember to be patient as you wait for a response. Emailing your instructor is not equivalent to sending an instant message to a friend. Finally, Avoid forwarding personal jokes or other questionable materials that are not connected to your course. Netiquette is simple once you think of it as communication within a professional context. Use proper grammar, standard English, and be concise. State the objective of your communication and define the action that you would like to see as a result of your message. Be careful to use neutral and straightforward tone in your writing. Remember, without facial expressions and body language to help them, the recipients of your message may misinterpret attempts at sarcasm or humor. When emailing your instructor or others in a professional context, be sure to include a proper salutation. If needed, clarify who you are and your purpose in writing. In terms of addressing your instructor, it's always good to follow standard guidelines for professional communications. If your professor holds a doctoral degree, then he or she should be addressed as doctor. If you are unsure of the proper title, use Mr. or Ms. Remember, it's always best to use Ms. for all women within a professional context. Mrs. is used properly only in an informal context, or if the individual has asked to be addressed in this manner. The basic rule of thumb is always keep it professional. In many online classes you will be asked to participate in discussion board forums. Remember the virtual space of a forum is your online classroom. It is not a casual chat room. When you engage in communications in the forum use the standards of proper communication etiquette. Be respectful of others in your class. Avoid slang, personal attacks, and disruptive behavior that may antagonize others. With these fundamental rules in place, the challenge of communicating online becomes more manageable and you and your classmates get to focus on learning rather than on the potentially disruptive misunderstandings and miscommunications. Thank you. This concludes the presentation on online communication and netiquette.